Thank you, Theresa. His Excellency, Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce, Governor of South Australia. The Honourable Jay Weatherall, MP, Premier of South Australia. The Honourable Grace Porter Lacey, MP, Minister F for Education and Child Development. And all our other invited guests, families, the staff and students of Mark Olson College, birth to year 12. This is for me a very brief speech and it is a speech of appreciation. Firstly, it's great that the weather improves so much that we could have all our staff, student and community participate in what is MOP's big day out. I want to begin with a very special thank you to the then Minister Dr Jane Lomax-Smith who realised that there needed to be this significant program of school regeneration and believe in the concept of Beta 12 schooling, the one-stop shop. And so there was the development of the six super schools of which we are the birth to year 12 school. Then to those parent communities in 2006, which now does seem so long ago, we owe an enormous debt of gratitude. Those parents voted to close schools, which in many cases they and their families had sent their children to for generations, some since the early 60s and in the case of Smith Creek since 1877. Whilst many other families had left the schools, these families had remained loyal and so for them to vote so overwhelmingly to close and take the leap of faith into the future, we will always have our gratitude and thanks. And what a leap it was. It seemed at times an eternity until the site was confirmed, the public-private partnership consortium pinnacle appointed, the designs approved, the land cleared, and it was May 2011 before we all got to move to this our amazing new school. We actually had begun as Mark Oliphant College in January 2010. As a school, we have now been established for just over two years. For staff and students, over all this time, we have been in a state of perpetual movement and change. I think that has led to one of the key parts of our school culture, innovation. From the beginning, we've had to be adaptable and think outside the box to achieve our goals. Not only did we have a new school with new ideas about design, but even before we moved on site, we knew we had to accommodate different enrolment trends, the changes in the curriculum, and of course, the ICT developments, etc., etc. Thus, we reorganised spaces, furniture, and even the buildings, and a culture of the innovative ABC of MOP was born. Adapt, believe, create, to achieve, be better, and develop our community. Our thanks also to those many families who have shown confidence and joined us on this journey, particularly thanks to those defence families, many of whom had to do it from via remote control from Darwin or other parts of Australia and even overseas. Another family that must be acknowledged is that of Sir Mark, who so generally allowed us to use his name. Now to the staff. My sincere thanks to those who began this amazing journey in 2010 and those who have joined us since. Your unfailing public enthusiasm, even though sometimes we got very tired internally, your ability to problem solve, deal with each and every issue, and your commitment to our students and their families can never be questioned, and your unerring belief that we can and will achieve. Finally, from the littlest to the biggest kids, sometimes we adults are in danger of forgetting that schools are built for kids, and this one has been built for you. It is your entitlement. What you have demonstrated since we have been established is that with, an entitle with that entitlement, our children and young adults astonish and amaze us with what they can do and achieve. I am confident that over the rest of my tenure, we will see this continually increase and well beyond that. So today's celebration formally marks for Mark Oliphant College, or MOC as we affectionately know it, the end of our establishment phase. We know who we are, and have a sense of the future and what we can achieve. It is my profound honour to have been to be your inaugural principal and be able to represent you on this day. Thank you.